Hardware and software in this video were provided as part of the MetaQuest Creator Program. This is one of the facilities for the I'm in a hotel room in Rouge. I am streaming from my Steam Deck that I installed Windows on to using my phone's 5G connection to tether my Quest 2 to my Steam Deck. And I'm playing, while it is kind of a rudimentary game, the fantastic Ding Dong VR. And you're going to see it in all of its stuttery glory. It's actually surprisingly pretty playable from time to time. But like right now, we've got the time stop. A high score so far in this blistery mess of a connecting connected tissue here. It was 66. I'm gonna try to beat that. If at all possible. Now I haven't changed any of the settings on virtual desktop. We'll go out and look at those after this game. But this is a full-fledged VR title running from my Steam Deck. Which has Windows on an SD card of all things. Not even on the micro, or not, not even on the SSD, but on the micro SD. Now, do I want to go load up Half Life Alex? No. This was a fun little diversion experiment. Beat the score that I had before. Let's see if we can get to a hundred. Probably not based on the stuttering stop there. <laughs> we got to 76, but that's okay. So this was Ding Dong VR. We're gonna go back and show you like what my Steam Deck looks like after we exit out of Steam VR here. We're going to go ahead and exit VR. We're going to exit pic picture mode so you can see this is my Steam Deck home screen. You can see that I'm running virtual desktop here. I've got some other games here, some other things that I've got. But if we go into the settings, I can absolutely prove to you that I'm running a Steam Deck here. We go to the about. We've got the AMD custom APU, 16 gigabytes of installed RAM. I'm running Windows 10 Pro. I actually installed this through a tutorial, but everything about this is the Steam Deck. I've even called it Deck as my local sign in. Uh, I'm shocked personally that this all worked. But it worked pretty smoothly considering the connection that I'm using, which if we go here, you can see is my Galaxy S22 Ultra. Um, ridiculousness, for sure. I am playing the lab on my Steam Deck on my Quest 2 using virtual desktop in a hotel using my phone's 5G. It's a little crazy. Because you can. Yes, because I can. Uh, it's on Windows not on SteamOS, but otherwise everything that I just said is still active. So I'm currently in the lab and I'm gonna play some Zortex because I love Zortex. I don't have a lot of space that I carved out for myself, so it might be interesting. All right, let's do classic two. One. Zortex was not the first thing in the lab that I played, but one of the things I played the most in the lab back in the day. Whoops! These guys are shooting at me.
Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. You guys are being jerks. It's all of a sudden, why you gotta be jerks like that? This is playing really, oh crap. It was playing really well. <laughs> Until I got hit, I am out of practice. 